Hello, this is Debbie, and since I work in television, and since our class on library and technology has been talking a lot about technology, I thought I might give you a little tech tour of where I work, since it has a lot of technology, but technology of a different kind. Um, this is probably the area where most people think of technology and television, the set, chroma key wall, weather guy, um, and cameras and studio where the anchors sit, but there's a heck of a whole lot more. This is where the area where the chroma key used to be, they're building a new one. So if you've noticed any changes on our station lately, why the weather guy is a little bit closer up, that's why, it's because that's in the process of being moved and there's a new one. If you come back here, through this door and back through this area, past all these racks of equipment. This is actually the area where I work when I am master control on the weekends. Um, this is all covered up, not properly, not very good. That's a board that I don't use because it's actually. I shouldn't say I don't use it. I do, but it's usually overwritten, or it is overwritten, when I tell it to be, um, by this computer. And this is our playlist. Titan playlist is what we call it. And I tend to watch two playlists um, side by side, the matched programming which if you look up here, you can see there's two 7.1s, but one's labeled KTVB and one's KFXT, or KTFT, sorry. Those are both NBC stations, but they're separate channels. One is Twin Falls and one is Boise. Um, but yeah, that's what I monitor. Actually, that top row is not getting a return signal. I don't know if you remember. Probably don't. When I mentioned part of my concern was Master Control will no longer exist here, I'm pretty sure it won't. Um, this is partially why that top row up there used to be for monitoring our off-air signal, which now gets monitored, or for Twin Falls, which now gets monitored down, monitored down here, along with Boise. But this system here is a bunch of monitors that are uh, being fed to Tampa, Florida, where they are kind of monitoring us, which I, and here's, I'm pretty sure that looks pretty similar to a little remote control box of this. I'm pretty sure that it will be only a matter of time before Tampa, Florida is running what's on air here as well, kind of like we do for, like I mentioned, there's Twin Falls. Uh, which is half a state away. We just uh, air what they have. Uh, those 7.2s are our sub-channel, what we call 24-7 here. Um, and then next to that is this uh, Northwest Cable News that we, at this point, we just basically forward that station um, out of Seattle, but we forward it on a third sub network. Here's a national break. This is the timing sheet down here. And I'm just going to call us off a break. We're in live programming right now. Um, I tend to print out my timing sheets. They actually come off of, timing sheets come off of here. Let's see. Uh, there's the, you can log in and see them. Uh, I won't show you, but trust me, timing sheets come off of there. Um, oh, I'll show you this. Uh, this is how, if a program needs to be recorded, once upon a time it used to be on tapes or discs. We still have some tapes, but this is basically a hard drive that you put in there, hit record. So if we want a physical copy of something to quote unquote tape, not really on tape here it's on a hard drive which plugs in 
to this little device and it has all the controls. You can play it back. I'm playing a show, I'm stopping it. I can jog through it if I want, pause, back it up, whatever. Um, record, go to the next, play that. Oh, nah. Currently there's only one thing on that drive. Um, router up here, you can see for, oh, this is when in the process of, most everything is 16 by nine now, but uh, can you see that very well? Probably not. Um, we had our engineers just toggle the thing for, oh, it's four by three or it's 16 by nine. There's a few monitors up here we can route. This is our QC11, just that's down in the corner there. Bike hit network on that one. Then it's gonna show me whatever I have routed in there. I had SAT17, which I'll actually show you right now. I had it for SAT17 earlier today because we are a program on 24-7 live off of a satellite. Um, and I purposely changed the channel so I could show you that this program here, uh, I actually ought to, uh, that's this one here, which is basically um, controlling our IntelliSat, controls our satellites, and I'm actually on SAT 17 right now, which I know where that's my, and from down here, I know that nine is the basically channel on the satellite that I want to go to so I just apply changes it tells me good and if I go look at my QC 11 I then see the channel because it told me it was well it told me it was good on that channel there what I'm going to show you right now is that's not the only piece of the pie this right here happens to be where it should be, which is basically the satellite itself pointing in the direction on SAT 17. Um, this one has manual adjustments. So I'm gonna tell it, move the antenna, yes. And it's gonna flash and move on me. And I know from experience that the coordinates, the engineers had trouble with these coordinates. Oh, and it's gonna work today, so I can't even show you. Let's move it to a completely different satellite. Uh, whatever, yeah, go there. And it's moving, and as it moves, you can see my channel disappeared. It's still on channel nine, but now it's on a different satellite. So, and it's actually still moving. And actually, this is a good, I'll show you. Or, I shouldn't say sat. It's on Galaxy 19 now. Um, satellite itself is our Sat 17. And you can tell this is the receiver that it's bad because it has a red. If it's good, it's going to have a green. And I'm going to show you what then happens. We'll put it back on Galaxy 17. Yes, we've already punched in the right channel for that channel 9 so now it's going to the coordinates of galaxy 17 and once it gets there this should go green is it done moving yet it's done oh it's red this is what I wanted to show you before this particular one we can't really get it tuned in so you can actually come and move them by manual by just going to the mode, I think, yeah, manual. And I wanna just kinda toggle it. Oh look, I didn't have to toggle it much. And now it's green. And if we go back here, yeah, we see our lady talking. And she is there, and everything's good. Yay! Uh, oh, I was gonna show you appending logs. These are logs. Everything that's here, on these logbooks lists all the commercials, all the programming right now. We're in this uh, Road to the Writer's Cup program. But this is, it's on a manual track.